guys it's mary jim and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be what makes you attractive i'm so excited to record this so yeah we have six piles today let's just get into it so for pile number one we have um this so like it looks like someone at a like like a hawaii type thing and then we also have this um Crystal, if you resonate more with the crystal, it's a yellow citrine. Number two, we have um, a little seagull or like a bird with a shooting star. And then I'm pretty sure this is like called a rose desert. It has to do with confidence. Um, and then we have number three also, this is um, a tree. And then we have this crystal type stone. It's very pretty. I'm not sure what the name is though. Then we have number four, which is a snowman and a jellyfish. And like the snowman has also, um, what do you call it? A broom and then we have this rock which is super cute there's like a pen stain on there very sorry but yeah this is definitely very pretty then we also have number five and this is such a pretty stone like bro so pretty and then we have the sun and number six is this crystal very pretty and then it's like a little pirate so yeah, these are the six piles. Pick as many as you want to, pick which one resonates, and let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Mary Jam, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be um, what makes you attractive, literally. We have, I'm like thinking, should I put a jacket on? I kind of feel like low-key exposed. But anyway, so today's video is going to be, like I say, what makes you attractive. We literally have so many piles, so let's just get into it. Like, no long intro, sending love and light. Have an amazing day. And also, if you don't like my energy, please, mother freaking, get the freak off my channel. Okay, I love you guys. Okay, love you all so much. Um, but yeah, so remember to general reading, take a resonate, see if it does not. If, you, if the pile that you pick doesn't resonate, pick another one. Watch all of them, you know. Don't skip the ads, like all the other stuff. I love you guys so much let's get into it okay okay so for pile number oh my god i literally thought that i just forgot now so your first for pile number one your song is you belong to somebody else by dej loaf so this is you know like a type of throwback i feel like you could be like you know a throwback person you're kind of like a blast from the past type thing um um yeah Let me get my flip file, fam. Let me get my flip file. Um, I'm, I'm really getting a vibe. I don't know why, but I'm thinking, like, you could have been that person at school that maybe was just always, like, oh, like, I want to do this. Or, like, you were always volunteering. If you weren't vol volunteering, I just feel like you could have been very organized at school. Or you were always the person that had, like, you know, a very heavy bag at school. Or you were just, like, the one that had, like, you know, all the marbles. Like, bro, you were, like, not that popular. Okay, I don't... Low-key popular, though. Low-key, low-key. Anyways, let's just get into it. So, it says, can we get a room... Can we get a room and we ain't gotta tell nobody? It's just me and it's just you. Bro, you make silence interesting. That was a personal message. So you make silence interesting, bro. That's such an amazing thing. And you got the soulmate card. So bro, you busy calling your soulmate. Like your soulmate's out there. Like literally, it could be someone you're talking to right now. Or like, I feel like, you know, very soon. Um, but like soon is very relative, but either way, I just feel like you definitely have someone on this planet that you were definitely supposed to meet. And I feel like it's saying also, like this is the message for you to say, basically, you know, I'm not saying wait for them, but it says wait for me. So if you are not in a relationship right now and you kind of feel like, oh my word, like I'm so single, like no one's talking to me, blah, blah, blah. This is your reading to tell you, fam. Like literally they're out there. Just like wait, you know, like wait for them as well. And what makes you attractive, you also have the isolation card. I feel like what makes you attractive is that you can isolate yourself as well. Like, when you're by yourself, like, literally, it doesn't matter. Like, how do I say this? It's kind of like, you know those people that go MIA and then it's like you don't see them, you don't hear from them or anything. And then all of a sudden, you just see them post a video or you just see them um, pop up out of nowhere. And then it's kind of like, shook bro you're like you're shook and everything and then it's just like why you know like you still look amazing you know like you think um because usually sometimes when people go mis it's sometimes it's for unfortunate reasons um but for you i kind of feel like it's just something that you do um out of your own like free will with the empress card you're kind of just like yeah you know i love my energy i love um exploring myself um sexually i love being myself i love expressing myself and honestly you can tell that you're very attractive like on period like when people look at you they're just like damn you are attractive like honestly you don't need to have like a lot of friends like i'm not saying like you're a lone wolf or anything but honestly you you can like be a leader you can just basically do whatever you want so and the song's like saying can we get a room and you make silence interesting bro like when it's silent people think it's interesting with you like so it says, um, sneaking and freaking, people be having full-on sex. 
I was not expecting this to be very sexual. I was not. Like, honestly, I was like, okay. Okay. And then it says, um, people be having a whole bunch of sex, sex fantasies about you. Um, with dialogue and everything, you'll laugh. And then it says heart eyes. I feel like you could, like, you know, use a lot of emojis. Even if you don't use a lot of emojis, I feel like a lot of people save your name with a lot of emojis. But, yeah, like, there are a lot of people that are interested in you, a lot of people that, like, you know, like you and everything. And they be having full-on fantasies about you, bro. Like, that's why the silence is very interesting because I feel like maybe when you're with certain people, like, you'll be like, why is the room so quiet? Why does this feel so awkward? If you ever feel, like, awkward or something like that, it's probably because you might you might feel out of place sometimes and it's probably because it's put like there are people like having full on um debates about you there are people having full on um fantasies about you so i mean obviously it's gonna be awkward because then it's like you know sometimes you have a dream about someone a dream about someone and then it's like someone who didn't think that you would attract that you would be attracted to and then you see them the next day and then it's kind of like but I feel like that's one of those um, situations. Uh -huh. um, and then it says you make people go. And then it says heart eyes again. So you literally have someone that's heart eyes for you. And I definitely feel like it is your soulmate. Like, bro. Uh, couple of soulmate, you remember? Like, can I'm kidding. Um, so it says people feel like you really want it. Damn. You don't hide that you want. What? That you want? I don't even... You don't hide what you want. So basically what makes you attractive is that you aren't afraid to basically say what you want. Like maybe in the bedroom, like you'll be super demanding. and you'll be like, listen, yeah, king of wands. This is what I like and this is what I don't like. Like, you know, I feel like when certain people are with you, they definitely get like, you know, very intimidated about you. Um, I feel like there are a few people that you speak to and it's kind of like, um, I don't know how to say this, but it's like people are kind of alluding to the fact that they want to be with you and you could just like brush them off. Like I'm thinking about someone right now, like you could definitely be a fire sign, getting some Leo, Sagittarius, getting a lot of Leo. Honestly, like the Leo is like, or the Leo is very attracted to you as well. But anyway, so I'm thinking about this one Sagittarius that I knew. Sorry to spill the tea, but I'm filling the tea. So I remember... Um, and it's like, literally, I feel like this is like, is like so accurate towards you as well. But, um, so the Sagittarius, he was like talking to me, right? And he had a beard. I remember he had a beard. And, um, he, he sent me, he asked me a question. He was like, would you ever be with someone that had a, I feel like I could have said this to you guys before. But anyway, he was like saying, would you ever be with someone that had a beard? And I was like, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know what I said. I forgot what I said. Yeah, I forgot what I said. Um, you also could have like, you know, facial hair or you could just like be hairy. And like, I feel like people don't mind it. But yeah, I definitely like literally you could be full on feminine and like you can just be like, you know, be like, you know, and it's just like, it doesn't matter. But anyways, so um, yeah, he was like saying like, do you like people with beards? And I'm like, I don't know, like, doesn't really matter. I guess like they're okay. Like, you know, like it was a random question. Then he sends me a video and he has a beard. I'm like, nigga, nigga. So I kind of feel like that's basically people's energy towards you. Like they will try to drop hints that they want to be with you. And then it's kind of like people be blatantly like, you know, putting it out there. And I can just see you being like literally looking at like looking all stressed, looking all like, oh my word, like I'm not going to find someone. Like what's going on? I'm super stressed out. I feel like so indifferent. I feel like, you know, people look at me so weird. I feel like I'm just not fitting in right now. When in reality, people be looking at you. People been looking at you. I'm telling you now, there are people from your past that have not told you that they've been attracted to you. I'm telling you now, like, what are those things we... No, that doesn't happen. I guess in high school reunion sometimes, um, you know, like when you meet up with all your friends, like in the 10 year, 25 years, so like if that's coming up for you. But, you know, and then it's kind of like you'd be like, oh, so like, um, I don't feel like you knew this, but um, I had a huge crush on you in high school. And I feel like there's a lot of instances where people had crushes on you in high school, in primary school, in all of that ish. Like, you know, just like in little things and like people just didn't tell you. Um, what else makes you attractive is, so like the song is basically saying you belong to someone else, so you could belong to someone else. And I feel like a lot of people that are attracted to you are in relationships, like if I'm being honest. Um, so remember, I feel like this is a fire sign. I'm definitely getting like a lot of fire energy. I'm just getting like, this is a Leo. So yeah, with the two of pentacles, this has to do with like, you know, not wanting to commit to someone. So I feel like when people look at you, they just like how you aren't like... You like you are indifferent like you're an Aquarius bro like you're a Pisces bro like even if you're not it's kind of just like 
if you're trying to fit in with people, it's like, don't try to fit in. Why try to fit in when you were born to stand out on period? So, yeah, and people like how... I just like, I just, I'm literally just getting the fact that it's like, you're not committed to anyone, basically. You don't ask anyone for permission to do whatever you want to do. And I feel like when a lot of people look at you, they kind of get like, you know, jealous. Because I feel like a lot of people that are attracted to you are in relationships. Like, full-on relationships. Or they're just talking to someone or something like that. And then they'll look at you and they'll just be like, why do you look so happy? Like, why are you so comfortable? Why are you just like exuding all this energy, all this sexual energy? And it's like, you aren't like, you know, um, in a relationship right now. And people get like, you know, like, I don't know. It's because it's like, when people are in a relationship, certain people, like, at least the people that I'm getting from this pal right now, um, not in general, of course, um, I'm just getting the vibe where it's like, they're in unhappy relationships right now. And they feel like if they were in a relationship with you, it will be fun. So yeah, Empress Energy, you're like so divine. Like you're divine, fam. And then you also got the... You got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, you know, you're just very like... It's your own energy. I'm just getting like you go at your own pace, basically. And it's like your energy, it's so... It's savory, you know? Like you're like it's something that you can eat like at the end of the day. Like, you know, at dessert where it's like it's succulent. And it's like nice and like a compliment your food so nicely. Like, bro. Like if you went wine tasting and you had, you know, the cheeses and the wines and the... You're fine wine. On period, you are fine wine. But yeah, this has to do with like, you know, being slow energy. So maybe you're not always open to basically like speaking to new people and everything. It's chill, fam. Like, it's Gucci. You're so cute or whatevs. So yeah, that is what I got for pile number one. I really hope the video resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mary Jam and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be um what makes you attract who is attracted to you you know all of the tea so let's get into it because literally we have so many pals so for pile number two your song is dream girl by lana del rey bro i'm literally telling you now dream girl people are losing sleep over you people are losing sleep over you look at this energy over here look at you busy Breaking people's hearts over here. Look at you having this heartbreak energy fan. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at her wrist. Look at her wrist. Okay. Let's get into your song. So it says, I can be your dream girl, right? Check to see. Just check to see you smile. You look good from all angles. <gasps> Bro, I'm done. I'm done. I literally just said heartbreak energy. And then it says your heartbreak kid. I'm not lying. You can't read this awful handwriting, but it says heartbreak kid, bro. The synchronicities are real. I'm telling you now, the synchronicities are real. Um, so it says you speak different languages. You're so soft. Do you shave? What's up with all this pubic hair here? Okay. Do you shave um, your piercings whole? Or your whole energy? You're able to let go and be happy. That is so attractive. Close your eyes for the good things, the best things. Aww. Songs will be written about you on period. Bro, there's gonna be a song written about you. Okay, I'm gonna stop being a dramatic mother freaking. So basically what makes you attractive is that you are a dream girl. You are an ideal partner, but... As much as this is a gassing up video where I'm going to gas you up for like, what, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, um, you got that heartbreaker energy. You got that heartbreaker energy. I just feel like when people look at you, they can really tell that you're going to break people's hearts. Like, you probably have broken a lot of people's hearts. You have hurt a few people. You have the no call. Like, there are some people that are just like, wow, like, you know, okay. I feel like some people will be like, okay, this is not what I wanted to hear, but there are certain relationships that are toxic, right? But... We all sometimes enjoy a little bit of toxicity, but like obviously some people don't, which is good. We don't, we don't, we don't do that. But uh, what I'm trying to say is you're part of all those crazy stories. Like when people be like, you know, in um, How I Met Your Mother, like literally someone said that I watch so much TV. Guys, I love acting. I love seeing people act. I love watching it. I love seeing emotions come to the surface. I love it all. So yeah, but even if I do watch too much TV, on period, fam, on period. Okay, anyways. So basically what I'm getting is Barney Stinson. Barney Stinson. Barney Stinson. Your name goes out with the BS. The BS. Okay. So basically what I'm getting is, like, you know when he was, like, 
he said like it's gonna be legend wait for it dairy and he also in the last like, one of the last episodes i won't spoil it by the way but he was talking to this other group of kids and he was saying like it wasn't like he was saying it was something nice though something like it wasn't amazing if your friends weren't there to see it. And I feel like that's your energy, you know? It's just like the craziest things happen with you. And people are always telling stories about you. People are always writing songs about you. People will. If they haven't, bro, like I'm telling you now, your next three months are going to be like, bro, like, yes. Okay? So you speak so many, you can connect to so many different people because of the stories that you tell, because of the things that you do in people's lives and how much you impact them on period. People want to check up on you all the time. Like, I feel like you could, like, have a lot of messages and you just, like, don't reply to them. But people want to check up on you. Like, maybe you feel like your phone is dry, like, no one texts you or whatever. It's because people just feel like they're annoying you or whatever. They're like, um, you know. I feel like you're always being your natural, um, authentic self. You're always so happy as well. And it's like, um, you got that heartbreak energy. Like, something could be breaking your heart and you will still manage to make a smile. That's on period. You literally have the I hope you don't hurt me card. You're like those one of those eagles. Okay, no, one of the eagles. But you know, you're just like that energy where it's like, it's not, I don't want to say you're sensitive, but I feel like you've been hurt before. And honestly, being hurt doesn't mean you're sensitive, you know? Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, bro, embrace that shit. Embrace it, you know? Um, and heal from it as well. Um, you have such strong will as well. You are, you are actually, like, just, like, a strong person. Like, that is on period. When people look at you, they think you are so strong. They think you are so powerful. You have so much energy. You have so much stored up, stored up potential, and you exude it as well. Like, you don't, it's stored up, but it's not, like, you know, going to waste. It's, like, it's stored up energy, and you use it when you need to. It's kind of, like, you can take control when you need to as well. In the bedroom, too, fam. In the bedroom, too. You can take control. Um, but, Yeah. Bro, like, close your eyes for the good things, the best things. I don't know why, but I'm literally getting, like, I know. I think I read this somewhere. Someone told me something. Something, like, it was a psychology or something about, um, so obviously, like, you know, if you don't, like, relate to gender, like, you can skip over this part or you can just, like, take away the gender. But I'm saying it from how I read it because otherwise I'm not going to say it how I saw it. So the guy was, like, saying, um, I think he said men enjoy, um, looking at oh yeah men enjoy okay i'm gonna say men i'll just say people most people enjoy having intense eye contact with people like they enjoy it when like you look at them in the eyes like when you know when you're busy when you know when you're busy which whatever you would you know you know what i mean you know what i mean no, if you're if you're going if you're doing that i'm not gonna say it if you're going down if you, you know what i mean so like they enjoy when you look up so i feel like if you if you don't usually do that i'm telling you now make eye contact with people because people literally feel like you're looking into their soul and especially when you are doing the look up in the eyes look up like literally just like look up look up because i feel like they like it i feel like they definitely like it but the eight of swords i'm literally just getting that you are so strong i feel like the energy and the environment that you're in right now is probably like you know toxic it isn't the best for you it's kind of like um i remember i also watched this other thing a multi-fandom and it was like inspiring um, cartoons because I was watching like the ending. Okay, it's not important. And then there was this one scene that came um, and it was Beast Boy. And he was like saying, he was like saying a lot of people were handed like, you know, they weren't hand the, uh, they have a rough life. And he was saying, um, but they do with what they have. And I feel like that's so important. Like you can just basically do with what you have. You do with what you have on period. And it's kind of like, although you have times when you're very, you know, to yourself and you don't feel like opening up and like, it sucks because it's like, you feel like you keep on getting hurt. It's like, you still have the strength to basically be the bigger person. You still have the strength to connect to people. Like, bro, you can be having the hardest time of your life and you're still going to talk to people. You're still going to reach out to people. You're still going to speak light. You're still going to basically be like, bro, like, what must I do? Must I like be down on this? Must I get um depressed and sad because this happened to me like bro of course you can but then it's like eventually you find the strength to get up again and that's why people see you as so powerful on period you are so patient and so kind with all your words your words are so um it's so oh how do i even say this bro it's like 
your word choices are what make people fall in love with you as well how you speak to them the words that you use with them how you describe certain things and certain people like you could definitely be a writer honestly i feel like if you don't like writing you should definitely get into your, into your creative side because i feel like you have so much creative energy and although it's good to store up your energy you know to store up your energy it's also good to start using it start using it ace of pentacles you create new opportunities with so many people People just feel like whenever they're with you, they're going into a new dimension. Like, they just feel like when people meet you, they just want to be, like, completely latched to you. Like, I feel like you have a lot of people that, like, um, want to just, like, you know, be with you. Like, they just want to, like, latch onto you. Like, they don't ever want uh, want to leave your life. I feel like there's a lot of people that tell you that they love you. And maybe you try to be like, oh, I love you more. It's like, no, fam. They love you more. Okay, I'm not going to say who loves who more. But... So, yeah, you also have the Knight of Wands. Um, So... You are passionate. Oops, I almost dropped the card. You are so passionate. You are so creative as well. Honestly, you are creative and you are visionary. Keep doing what you're doing, fam. You're amazing. So, yeah, that is what I've got for pile number two. I really hope the video resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, guys. It's Mary Jim, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be what makes you attractive. So, let's get into the video. So, for pile number three... Oh, my word. Okay, never mind. So for part number three, your song is None of Your Concern by Janae Aiko. So it says, That Bitch by Bay Miller. Oh my gosh, I love that song, which is like, You should be sucking on my clip. Like, bro. Anyways, let's... Ooh. I just got a question in my head now. And this person's like saying, like, why did you make me fall in love with you? For some people, like, why did you make me fall in love with you if you had no intention of loving me back? That's on T. That's the T. So, let's get into your song. That's only for some people. It says, your energy. I've been contemplating, meditating. Should have never dated. It's none of your concern anymore. All the exes trying to compete with you. It don't even hurt no more. People be traumatized over you and you're not even concerned about them. Bro, you got that bitch energy. But like, not, not, not bitch energy, but more like empowering, like, beep, like, you know what I mean? So, literally, people are like traumatized. People are like, you know, people are wounded over you and you're just like, it's not of my concern. It's above me. It's above me. It's above me, okay? Um, so it says, you give your number out or someone has your number and they want to call you so bad. I'm not your girl anymore. Watch your tone. Watch your tone. Watch your tone. You got that lingering energy. You are the lingering energy. People be smelling you and your... <gasps> People are smelling you and your panties. That's not what the song says. That, I mean, that was a personal message that was coming through. People are smelling your panties. People need to get a grip of themselves. But honestly, I feel like there are so many people that are literally just have a crush on you on period. So you could definitely be a Cantor Scorpio Pisces. Getting a lot of Cantor energy, getting a lot of air energy, um, air sign energy as well. So Cantor Scorpio Pisces as well as a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So you have break down the walls. What makes you attractive is that you are guarded, you know. You have a lot of depth to yourself and it's kind of like, it's, uh, it takes a while for you to open up. But when you do, it, it's... It's amazing. It's amazing when people get to see you for who you really are. When people, when people get to um, experience how loving um, and how sensitive you can be and how um, charismatic you can be. People love when they just get to be in your presence, honestly. Like, I, like you've got that lingering energy, bro. I feel like there are so many people, though, that, like, that you have cut off. I just feel like you've cut off like a, like a few people. Like you don't have any swords here. And swords that usually have to do with cutting off. Like you've got, you know, pretty good cards here. Pretty good cards. Um, but I don't know why, but I'm getting like a sword energy. I just feel like you have... Okay, I have to be honest. I'm going to say everything. Like I'm not just going to be like gas, 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 gas. So there is like, you know, some part of you that has hurt someone. But um, what I'm trying to say is... Full stop. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but yeah. So someone, you you did hurt someone, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I had, I was gonna have a point to this. 
I didn't. But yeah, anyway, so what makes you attractive? It's like you don't, it's not your concern anymore, like what people think of you. It's not your concern anymore, how people view you. People want to say certain things about you. It's like, bro, go ahead. It's going to be on my back. It's going to do my face. But I say it to my face. If you don't know what's going to mean, it's like when you talk, when you gossip about someone. I was literally going to be like, what's the word now? It's when you gossip about someone behind your back. So, yeah. I feel like there are so many people that try to compete with you as well. Like, people see little things as competitions with you. Like, people are, like, competing with you and you don't even know it. You have people hurt over you and you don't even know it. And even if you do know it, it's not even your concern. I just feel like you have a few haters out there, though. Oh, yeah, what I was trying to say is the sword usually has to do with cutting people off. But you don't have any sword yet, but I feel, I'm still getting the energy as well. And then you have the I have to walk away card. What makes you attractive is that you can walk away from people. Like, honestly, I feel like you can have the ability to not get attached to people as well. But, like, people can get attached to you. Even if it's not attachment, I just feel like people are always intrigued by you and by your energy. And it says, I don't even hurt mo no more. And I feel like that's something that makes you very attractive. Like, it doesn't even hurt anymore. Like, all the pain that you've gone through. And, um, yeah, it doesn't even hurt anymore. Like, it's none of your concern, basically. That's, that's amazing. Um, you also could be part of the LGBTQ. But yeah, someone wants to call you right now. Someone definitely has your number. Or someone wants to ask for your number. But like, someone wants you to call them. So, you know. Someone wants you to call them. And then you got that lingering energy. So, let me speak for a second on lingering energy. So, we've all watched tarot videos where, um, you, the tarot reader will always be saying, Oh, like, it's your ex, it's your ex, it's your ex. And then you're like, why am I keep on getting rings by my ex? Like, I'm so done with them. Like, I don't even like them like that no more. Duh, 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 duh. Did you ever think about if you got a tarot reading? I mean, if they got a tarot reading about you. I'm going to make a video. What would a tarot reader say about you? I'm making a video. But let me think about that for a second. Because I'm telling you, you the same thing's happening to them, fam. Like, literally, you'll be like, oh, my God, like, this is so annoying. Like, I'm over them. Duh, 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 duh. And then they're like, I'm over them, I'm over you too, duh, 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 duh. But it's like, either you guys both aren't really over each other, or I'm just saying, um, like, if you, you also, you also are the lingering energy. So when you get annoyed that, like, oh, they keep popping up into your life, the same thing's happening to them, because you guys are busy mirroring each other right now. And you have the lovers card. So what makes you attractive is that you mirror people. I feel like a lot of people are mirrored to you whenever they first meet you. You know, it's kind of like you unlock like their third eye. You unlock a lot of things in them. You just like, you cause like um, a ripple effect basically in people. Like when people meet you, it's like they think, okay, like it's nothing of it. Like it's just like, you know, normal. But then eventually they start basically, um, they start developing feelings for you. And they start, yeah, I feel like what makes you attractive is that people can start, you know, falling for you that's right i'm falling for you falling. okay i'm done but yeah the sun card you are just so abundant you're so loving you're so full of light love and light you're like full of love and light like if someone had to cut you open and if you do life science you know what i mean um bro it would, it would just be love and light on period a couple exes but love and light you know love and light you also could be a leo and also what makes you attractive is that you allow other people to be happy. Like, you allow other people to be happy. Like, you can literally, you could be someone that's all about just like, I'm not going to say putting your feelings aside, but maybe you do do that. Just to the point, not not too much, but like definitely be careful if you do do it too much. Where it's kind of like, you try to put other people before you. For the Six of Pentacles, it's kind of like, look, um, like someone else actually said like, it looks like this person's like, you know, giving back and everything. Or it looks like he's like giving back to the poor. But I feel like it's just like, you know, sharing knowledge. Like, you're always giving knowledge to people. You're always helping people out. You're always trying to put other people's needs before yourself. And that's very attractive. Because I feel like um, there's, a, there's a lot of people, obviously, that um, don't do that. I feel like it's become, like, we kind of need to look out for ourselves. But you're still more like, I'm going to look out for other people as well. Like, while, look, while I look out for myself. Especially with the strength card. It's kind of like your energy, it's so balanced. Like it's definitely a great balance of yin and yang because you can take care of yourself and you can take care of other people as well. You are an amazing caretaker. Like honestly, if you're thinking about like a career, bro, taking care of children, caretaking, psychology, honestly, speaking to people because you can connect to them on period. Like you could be a veterinarian, but you will like basically mean to help people. Like honestly, 
don't hide your gift like don't be ashamed of your gift because you are gifted on period you are strong you are powerful you are worthy you are enough on period then you also have the three of pentacles you are a hard worker and you're a team player as well you're a team player that's very important like you don't make people feel left out you could be wanted by somewhere i feel like i just feel like someone like is like looking for you right now like literally like maybe someone's looking for you right now like are you a missing person okay no that's not that's not funny we don't talk about that but um yeah teamwork makes the dream work so that is what i got for power number three i really hope the video resonated don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one hey guys it's mary jam and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be um what makes you attractive basically like what makes you attractive who is attracted to you as well am i supposed to look at the camera i feel like i'm supposed to be looking over there the whole entire time but I never look there because I'm conceited as mother freaking fuck. So I always look at myself. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Sorry. So let's get into it. So for pile number, what was that? Three. This is pile number four. So for pile number four, your song is Blinds by Amine. Bro, I feel like for some reason, the word raw just came into like raw, like R-A-W. You know when, uh, when you're, when you're, when you're, and it's raw and it's like, and it's just like, <laughs> Oh my god, who am I? I need to stop. 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 My parents watch these videos. But the devil card came out. I have to. I have to. Bro, and this is the three of swords. Let's get into this. What makes you attractive? I feel like you also could have... I feel like there are some people that have fetishes around you. Or you have a fetish. A foot fetish. A, a hand fetish. But either way, there is someone that has a fetish. I feel like you could have a fetish. I mean... We can start normalizing fetishes, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with it. As long as we don't, you know, do some weird stuff with it. But, I mean, fetishes are fine. Like, I actually know my one friend told me today. She said she has a thing for feet. And I was like, interesting, you know. No no judgment yet from me, fam. You know, you're still great. So, let's just get into your song. So, it says, every day I'm counting up my paper. Pity niggas hate. You got some pity niggas that are hating on you. Okay, only people that know me. Is my is my mama and my maker. Amen. Amazing hair dread, natural, dyed, spunky. So that's like basically describing you. You could like, you know, have um dreaded hair, like dreadlocks. You could also just have red hair. Or I just feel like your hair is very symbolic to who you are. You also could be um trying to go natural, like you have a very clean diet. And you're very spunky, you're very out there as well. So it says you give a I'm like shouting, I'm like, you give amazing hair. You give, you give amazing head though. Like bro, girl, or guy. That's what I wrote there. There are some people talking about your head game. Till this day on period. These channeled messages, bro. So, there are people but talking about your head game. They like your head game, fam. Like even if you're like, no, like that's on me. I'm not gonna tell nobody, I mean. Even if it's just like kissing, I feel like you're really great at kissing. You're very good at, you know, at the sexual stuff. You know, you're like, in that department, you got no problem. If you ever worry, I mean, oof, I'm thinking about something now. Mm. 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 Okay, little story time. I'm not gonna say who this is. Oh, what? Okay, I'm kidding. Um, her name was, I'm exposing myself right now as well. I haven't told anyone this, but I'm telling you guys. Um, so, her name was, I'm not going to say her name. Let's just call her Pam. Let's call her Pam. Pam. Pamela. Pam. So, basically, I remember I I never had my first kiss, right? I don't know why I'm telling you guys. This is exposing myself out here, fam. Exposing myself. But, so I remember there was this girl, Pam, right? And then, um, so I never had my first kiss. I'm not going to say how old I was, but I had, I I'm not gonna say how old I was, but I was, I was, I was in the, I was, I was, I wasn't a weird age, um, but I was a teenager still, 
few years ago. And then um, I remember, I think we just got like, I'm not going to say what happened, what happened, what happened, but like things happened. And then we ended up being like, okay, like, why don't you end up being my, like, why don't you just be my first kiss? Because you're my best friend. Like, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just do it. So she kisses me and everything. And then I'm like, okay, this kiss is okay. It's, it's all right. You know, I was like, okay, like, I thought it was going to be like, you know, this huge entire, like, oh my God, like, it's my first kiss. Like, oh my God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, not really. And then um, she's like saying like, wow, like you're such a great kisser. And I'm like, thank you. I mean, I didn't even know what I, I, was, I was just like, you know, I was just like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I was just like, I mean, you know, like you seem like you're supposed to do this. The scene's supposed to go over there. My hand looks to go over there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not me. And um, so, yeah. And then she kind of just like was obsessed with kissing me afterwards. I don't know why. But... So I feel like that could have happened to you, you know? People are just, like, obsessed with kissing with you, kissing you. They always say, like, yeah, like, you're amazing at kissing. Like, I love kissing you, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, anyways, and then it says, I want to see you shine. Don't want to hear you chime. So, I literally just feel like this person, okay. Some times people are object objectified and you know it's not nice obviously we don't like that but i feel like this person that's attracted to you right now like i feel like it's a capricorn i'm getting that it's a capricorn honestly like the devil card that is a capricorn what else can i say so it's a capricorn virgo or a taurus or like a taurus 100 percent. but um how this but this, this person is definitely attracted to you 100 percent. You're, you're super sexy you're super you got that all down like on period um, but this person's kind of objectifying you in a way where it's kind of like they're saying like, oh, like, like I don't want to really talk or date right now. But like, okay, it's not objectifying. I mean, it's completely up to you if you want to be in a relationship right now. But this person's energy is kind of just like saying like, like, I don't feel like talking right now. Like, can we just like, can you just like do what you did before? Like that type of vibe. And in and with an E, there was this um, couple, I'm not going to say who because I don't want to spoil it because it's so cute. But um, it was a person with another person. And she was, like, kind of mean to the guy, actually. Like, the guy was so cute. He was framed. He was so cute. He was so cute. He deserved better. And then he was dating this other girl because he liked her and everything. But she was just, like, low-key mean to him, though. Anyways, so what makes you attractive? What makes you attractive is that people still miss you even after you cut them off. Even after you guys stop speaking. Like, you literally have the don't go card. I'm getting that people, like, spend want to spend so much time with you. Like, you'll be like, I'm busy. Like, I can't hang out right now. And then, like, they're just like, but, like, I want to hang out with you. Like, I love you. You know, that type of energy. Um, five of spades, the breakup artist. You could break certain people's relationships up. Not cute, but, um, sorry. Okay, okay, nice. So it says, um, what makes you attractive, fam? What makes you attractive is that people get obsessed with you. That's on period. But I'm just getting like this person's energy that's attracted to you right now. I'm not sure how I feel about damn dumb. I don't know if they passed the vibe check, but you passed the vibe check. But I don't know about damn dumb. So, um, yeah, this person definitely is obsessed with like, you know, just thinking about you very, um, provocatively, very, um, yeah, like, they love thinking about you naked. They love thinking about you with them, on top of them, like, on period. Three of Swords. What makes you attractive is that, um... You're able to basically objectify yourself. Like, if you do something that is, like, you know, wrong or whatever, if you do something that you feel like isn't part of what you would normally do, isn't it, it goes against, basically, like, your moral code, your moral code, you'll, like, um, own up to it. And that's very attractive, like, honestly. Like, you can, like, have the ability to hurt your own feelings as well. Like, I know it doesn't sound very attractive, but honestly, it really is. Because it's, like, you can call yourself out. Like, if you can be like, wow, like, honestly, what I did over there, that, that was shitty. Like, I shouldn't have done that. Like, that's, that, that's actually, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful to me. At least to me, I think that's beautiful. Um, what makes you attractive is that you are always trying to basically be your better self. You're always trying to improve yourself. You're always trying to, I'm not going to say, um, trying to change your past, but it's just like your past doesn't define you and you are an accurate, accurate representation of that, that your past does not define you. I mean, it shaped you to, to the person that you are today and it drove you to be the person that you're trying to be, um, right now, but it's kind of like, it doesn't control you. It definitely doesn't control you, you know, um. 
you are kind of like in control right now with certain things in your life and people see you as just ha always having your shit together you're always moving forward you're always trying to be a better person you're never trying to be the same person that you were yesterday you're always so creative as well you're always giving people new ideas you're always you're always just inspiring people and you're amazing at manifesting honestly i feel like if you don't do a lot of manifestation if you don't do a lot of lighting candles staging um um crystals like bro which part is this power four bro get crystals like honestly like this crystal over here is special to me like i literally kept this in today like in my hand and yesterday i was busy studying i literally was just holding i was just like like bro invest in some crystals manifest it manifest it manifest it and then you also have the seven of swords what makes you attractive is that like not a lot of people know who you are and not like a way that's like oh like you're irrelevant but more like People don't know who you actually are. Like, when it's, like, deep down, like, they don't know who you really are. And that's attractive because you're, like, a mystery to people. But that's why you got some haters. So, Seven of Swords. What makes you confident? I mean, what makes you, um... Sorry, my mom's, like, coming in. I'm just like, oh, my God. So, what makes you attractive is that you are basically a mystery to people as well and i feel like people try to overcompensate for you as well like i feel like there are people that lie for you there are people that would um cry for you there are people that would just like you know go the extra mile for you so if you know who i'm talking about like i feel like you have a few friends that are just like you know real ones like they're the ogs appreciate them because they appreciate you 100 percent. so that is what i got for pile number four i really hope the video resonated don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye hey guys it's mary german i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be what makes you attractive so we're at pile number five now mm -mm 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 -mm. what makes you attractive fam let's go check it out okay so for pile number five your song is red lipstick by trey songs Okay, let's see. So it says, come here, girl. Give me a kiss. Valentine's Day came early. Your body, bro. Especially when you when they see you naked. They love your body. They want to memorize it. Oh, my gosh. That was a personal message. And then it says, love hearing you moan. And say their name. Oh, my gosh. And, and then it says, call me by your name. Like, I feel like for some reason... Like, this is like, like, this seems like a type of Rome Romeo, Juliet type love where it's like you guys can't be together. I literally feel like this is like you guys can't be together right now. Like, that's who's attracted to you. Someone that can't be to you right now. Someone that can't be with you right now. Like, maybe having a crush on unavailable people. Like, it could be a sexuality. I mean, on period, fam. Who relates here? No, I'm kidding. Um, so it says, love you in your moans. Say their name. So call me by your name. They love it when you say their name, basically. Like, if you are ever just like saying their name keep saying it they love when you call them like if you be like you you know what i mean if you be saying like you know names to them in the bedroom or whatever like mm -hmm. you know what you're doing when you say it like that like when you're saying they name the whole entire time we know why you're saying they name the whole entire time like we know why you're saying it like i'm, I'm trying to think of an example i mean i'm thinking of one right now but i'm like i'm not gonna put it out there because i just exposed myself already in this video so no i'm not not again not now so then it says, um, when you speak, you're so seductive, babe. Use, <laughs> baby. Okay, there we go. Let me just pause. They told me put my heart in the bag and my body gets hurt. Now I'm listening to my love. Bro, juice world. I stand. I stand. So what was I saying? Okay, yeah. You're so seductive. <gasps> like literally it says, use a condom because they're trying to get you pregnant. They want to make a move. You make me. You make me climax on period. Bro, talking is like six. The thing is, I don't even remember writing this, bro. That just shows. That just shows. Okay? So, what makes you attractive is honestly this song. Let's just um, um, take a moment to thank our sponsor, Pornhub. No, I'm kidding, but um not really fam. i'm telling you now i feel like i don't even know what to say right now like bro i don't even know what to tell you like 
you're hot like did you just want me to say it? Did you just want me to come and say you're hot? Like, do you want me to be like, hey, like, you know, you're really attractive? I'm kidding. You are. Like, on period, bro. Like, bro. B- bro. Like, you're you're cute. Like, you're so freaking cute. Like, give me your number. Like, you know, sad in my... Okay, no, okay. So, it says, yeah, like, this person loves kissing you. What makes you attractive is that you're an amazing kisser. You basically make days so special. Like, I feel like you could go all out for people's birthdays. Like, you always make people feel so special whenever it's their birthday, whenever it's Valentine's Day. Like, you are an amazing partner when it's like, yeah, you're an amazing partner. Like, you just... Yeah, like for Valentine's Day, I'm getting that you like go all the way out. And for birthdays, you go all the way out. Like you give great gifts as well. Uh, if you've given a gift to anyone, I'm getting that like they they love it, honestly. Um, But people definitely, you know, you got to like, you're not, not like a stalker or anything. But I'm just getting like there's some people that stalk you. I don't know why, but I'm getting it with the world card. I'm just getting that you're kind of like, you know, so in your own element. You're just so beautiful and everything. And then it's like, you're beautiful and everything, you're a light, but then there's like mosquitoes and everything, and they're like, you know, trying to. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't like, you know, drop your card or anything. You know, I just, yeah, anyways. So I'm just getting like, yeah, people like basically um, are stalking you. People are, are definitely in love with you, you know. I feel like people like sucking on your toes or something, people like sucking on your hands. But I'm just getting like people like want to suck all up on your titties. People want to suck up on all that. Bro, I'm going to get demonetized. I love it. Like, great. So, um, yeah. I feel like whenever you wear headpieces or you ever wear um, bandanas, whenever you're wearing something draped across your shoulder or whenever you're busy exposing the skin, like, honestly, bro, keep doing it. Like, you're doing the moves. You're busy turning people on when they shouldn't even be turned on. Like, bro um yeah they love it when you moan they love it when you're like mm, i was about to <laughs> imagine i like moan on no bro but yeah they love it when you moan they love it when you say their name oh they're saying you're so seductive they're saying like they won't bro this person doesn't even want to use a condom like they're saying they don't want to use a condom like bro they want to make a move towards this person wants to make a move towards you but they feel like they're not good enough they feel like no like they could never like actually come forward and tell you how they feel because firstly they feel like you wouldn't even take them seriously secondly you probably laugh in their face like look at this person they're just like i like you so much but i'm not gonna tell you like bro this is like harold from turtle Dra- total drama island when he was in love with um 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 what was that girl's name shivana oh i love shivana mm, shivana um yeah I don't know why, but I'm literally thinking of Juice World right now. She told me, put my heart in the bag, and nobody gets hurt. Now I'm li- but now I'm running from real love. That's not fair. Okay. So, King of Cups. What makes you attractive is that you are so sweet. You're so sweet, man. I feel like you're so humble and sweet, though. Like, when people tell you, like, when people compliment you, you're probably just like, no, like, oh, my God, like, no. You know, you're just, like, so sweet when you're taking a compliment. Like, look at this person. This person's busy complimenting them right now. Ten of Pentacles, you're financially stable and everything. People love you. Grandmas love you. Bro, I feel like there are so many people that are literally, like, pissed off, though, because it's like, how does everyone like you? Like, what the heck, actual heck? Like, bro. I'm literally thinking about this one time now, like, um, I'm not trying to lead it back to you or anything, but, um, this one part, I'm kind of like, wait, like, this reminds me of something. Like, I remember I was, like, going to school yesterday, or not yesterday, a few days ago, and then there was this guy and this girl, and they, like, the guy had a baby, and I was just like, hi, morning, like, I always say good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, hey, good morning, good morning, I always say good morning, um, and then I was like saying good morning, and then but I wasn't I wasn't like good morning. I was like good morning, like good morning. And then um, the girl was just like, huh. and I was like, huh. and then she was like acting more like, and then she started like speaking to um her boyfriend, or her baby daddy, whoever. And then like she was just like being so mean. Like I think she thought I was trying to take her man or something because she was like acting more like. Like, and then she was, like, acting all, like, all over him. And I'm, like, okay, like, maybe you guys are just, like, affectionate. Like, that's cool, whatever. And then in the elevator, we're, like, sitting, like, we're standing there. And then he's, like, talking to me. And I'm just, like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. But honestly, I'm just getting, like, certain people get, like, literally, like, are oh, you trying to take my man? Stop trying to take my man from me. No, no, no. Okay? But, yeah, people's, like, literally, people like you. Um, when, like, literally, 
I'm telling you now, like in the future, if you are with someone right now and you've met their family, I feel like they definitely like you. Like they're probably asking about you right now even. But yeah, I just, I'm definitely getting that like people's family like love you. Like there are so many moms, dads, uncles, brothers that like you. People's dogs like you. Bro, who don't like you? Tell me. Like I'm trying to find someone. King of Pentacles, you, I mean, I said you were humble. But at the same time, you can still snap, 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 bitch, snap, snap, snap. Oh shit. Dum 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 dum. Hey. Dum 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 dum. Okay, King of Pentacles, fam. Again, the fun, the funny. I was gonna say the finances, then I was gonna say the money, then I said the funny, which means you're hilarious, bro. Like, you're making people crack motherfucking up. You're so funny. Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> you're hilarious. So, King of Pentacles, I'm more, but I'm literally getting like, you're actually really funny, though. But I was, talk I was trying to say, you got that money, though. Girl, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. What makes you attractive is that you always keep your promises. You're always so stable as well. I feel like you're so dependable and so reliable. And when people ever have problems, they want to come to you for it. Because they know you'll always give them, like, you know, um, you won't sugarcoat it. Like, you'll give it as it is. Like, on period, you'll give advice. And if it's something that they don't want to hear, on period, shame. Get over it. What makes you attractive is also your clothing. I feel like... I don't know why, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm super attracted to the feet right now. Like, this person's feet's covered up right now. Like, maybe you're sometimes like, babe, like, no, like, not in public. I don't want to do this in public. I could do it in private. Like, you're like, you know, lady in the streets, freak in the streets type of vibe. But honestly, like, whichever gender, um, definitely putting that out there. I'm just getting that you're just like, bro, I feel like some people don't know how freaky you are. And that's what makes you attractive. Because I feel like when you start talking to someone, um, like, maybe they don't expect you to be so wild. But then, all of a sudden, they just see you up close and they're just like, oh, so you actually, you are, you are a freak though. You are a freak though. Like, you're like, you're a freak. So, yeah. And then you also got uh, the hanged man, the hanged man. So, you are very spiritual. That's also what makes you very attractive. You are spiritual. You believe in something beyond yourself. And you're just like always like, you know, trying to enlighten people, trying to tell people about God, trying to tell people about, you know, spirituality. Even if you're not like that type of preachy, preachy type person, I just feel like people can really tell. Like, even at my school right now, it's like everyone is religious or they believe in something. And I feel like it's important to believe in something. Even if you don't want, I'm not going to impose any of my beliefs or anyone's beliefs, which it's freedom of believing whatever you want to believe. But I just feel like, um, what I was trying to say is, it's like, it's so obvious when someone, like, you know, believes in something. Because it's just like, you can feel that energy. Because you can just feel like you're like, I'm content. I know that I'm not in control. But I'm not in control of what's going to happen right now, you know? I mean, to a certain extent, of course. Um, but yeah, like, people are guiding you right now. Like, your angels are with you on period. Um, it's also saying you should take a deep breath, like. Because it's going to be a long night, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, can you turn anything sexual? Because if you can, I feel like that's you. So, we also got or, or, the six of spades. So, the six of spades. What makes you attractive is that you can let go of people and certain things. You are always aligned to your higher purpose as well. You're always moving forward. And you have such a clear vision for what you want in your life. You can, like, see it. And that's why you're very good at manifestation. Even if you aren't good at manifestation, I feel like you're very good at setting your intentions. And just, like, um, people can see you as, like, basically... Um, reaching your full potential reaching your goals as well and like whenever you're speaking people just like they want to stop talking because they're just like like whoa like you're speaking like people are taken aback by you bro on period seven of spades people struggle to move on from you and you're like it's saying also um you should tap more into your, your sensitive side as well because i feel like maybe sometimes it's like you're not very sensitive to other people so it's saying you should be more sensitive but i mean honestly other than that like yeah you're great and, um, a thing also, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but, like, I know Tana Mojo, she posted this, she's like, why do I always make friends and then end up sleeping with them? And I feel like maybe you relate to it, when it's like, you think you're, talk you're talking to someone and it's just gonna be friendly, but then it ends up being something else. So, yeah, and then we also have the four of spades. So, you, um, what makes you attractive is that you can, um, at the end of the day, I feel like what makes you attractive is that you can go to bed and be happy with yourself. You can be like, you know what? I had a good day today. There were a few times when I was tired. But overall, I'm happy with myself. And I believe that tomorrow is going to be even a better day. Like, I feel like you could even have, um, um, 
Like, I feel like you could have a diary where you write down your thoughts or you're just, like, um, speaking to God or you're busy speaking to yourself. Like, you're just, like, you know, speaking in general even. Like, and people just, like, find it so uplifting when you do that. Like, when you just be like, you know what, like, honestly, like, you know, it's not in my hands anymore. And people just, like, find it so refreshing that you're, like, you know, so spiritual. I'm such a believer as well. Honestly, I love it. So beautiful. You're tough. You're stubborn. And sometimes you're a bit rebellious. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing, sis. So yeah, that is what I got for pile number five. I really hope the video resonates with guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mary Jim and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be what makes you attractive? What makes you so cute? So let's get into it. So for pile number six, which is the last pile, your song is Atlantis by Bridget Men. I'm literally getting that you are an Aquarius, bro. You're like an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or... Um, um, honestly, I feel like you're all the signs. I feel like you're like a water Venus or a water moon, a fire sun, and then like, um, a, or a, a sun, like a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius sun. Like, I feel like a Gemini sun, Aquarius sun, a Capri sun. Let's get some drink, drink. Okay. So, what makes you attractive? And you got so many cards, like, bro. Like, I was like saying, like, can you please know, like, why so many cards? But they were just like, nope. You get all the cards. So what makes you, oh, bro, you got literally, like, so many major arcana gods. So, you're like a high up person, aren't you? You're like well known and everything. You're like the, a big deal. You're a big deal, aren't you? I feel like I'm like, you know, a bit starstruck. Like, I should say something like, hi, how you doing, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, so it says deep, deep on the water is where I live my love. Clean at the surface, shallow to the touch. Now I don't feel a thing when I hold his hand. I know love exists. How did we end up like this? I know sometimes we lose sight of hope. You grow every day. Is. I wish I could read my handwriting sometimes. It's so bad. Every day is Friday. Every day is Friday. That's what it says. And then it says you pay attention to detail. You're an amazing listener. Without even listening, wow, which means you're very intuitive. Like, honestly, I definitely was getting that, especially with the Hierophant card. So, let me just take my dog out because my dog is being mother-freaking annoying. Okay, so basically, what makes you attractive, fam? What makes you attractive? I feel like, you know, um... I feel like you don't try to put your baggage on other people as well. Like, you don't try to overburden people. And I feel like that's just something that makes you attractive. But anyway, so, yeah. What makes you attractive is that you pay attention to detail. Um, so, you are basically, like, a communicator. You're always communicating with people. Um, I mean, the six, like, this is literally pile number six. And then also you have the number six. And that has to do with communica communicating in love. Um, it's negotiating with people. It's compromising with people. And it's like being a mature person, honestly. It's like being like fully developed. Like honestly, I feel like you're like a fully evolved sign, whichever zodiac sign you are, whichever person you are, honestly. Um, and it's also, um, it's, it's prioritizing certain people in your life, honestly. Um, I'm thinking about like, I'm not going to say who, but I'm thinking about a person with this right now. And it's kind of like, there are certain relationships that you have, like honestly, and like it's draining and it's hard. And it's like, you know, you like, it could be a family member, even. Like, it literally could be a family member. Um, what I'm trying to say is, it's like, certain relationships are very draining and very hard. But it's like, you feel like you can't give up on them, you know. But then, at the end of the day, you've done everything that you can. And if it's still not coming up to, like, you know, what you want it to be, let it be and let it go. The Six of Hearts also has to do with unions disappearing from your life. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like you don't. You start not to notice it anymore, you know. Um, like in Bojack Horseman, I remember he said in the episode, he was like saying, um, the secret to happiness, pretend like you're happy and like eventually forget that you're pretending. Obviously, don't take what I'm saying and be like, okay, I'm just going to do that because Mary James said that. No, man, no, 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 no. You know, do what you need to do to make you happy. But what I'm trying to say is, um, what he was like, and that quote was also coming to me now because it's kind of like, eventually you forget like why you started trying you forget that you were like you know sad about something you forget that you were actually obsessed with this person you forget that you were actually in love with this person and like the it just slowly starts like you know unraveling until eventually like the person's not there anymore 
So, yeah, that's what makes you attractive. I feel like it's how you get over people and how you process information and how you interpret information and how interpret information, how you see the world. Like, honestly, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's so attractive to so many people. How you speak and how educated you are as well. I feel like you're very smart, you know. You're definitely very intuitive. You're, like, in touch with all of your chakras, all of them, bro, aligned and unlocked on period. Eat. Uh, eat, uh, eat, uh. What about that? I'm gonna get lazy. I'll try to do the, the TikTok dances. Okay. So it says, um, I don't feel anything when I hold his hand. I feel like, again, I don't know why, but I'm literally just getting. What makes you attractive is that, like, you moved on, fam. That's what makes you attractive. Like, you could have been in a toxic relationship, um, even with the death card. I feel like you went through a huge transformation. And honestly, you literally came out like. On the better like bro you literally just transformed yourself and you just became this amazing person not that you were like you know not amazing before but this relationship that because it ended or whatever transformation happened to you it happened and you should be like super grateful for it because honestly i feel like it's like you can't go back to who you were before you know like you are like a new person you're a brand new person honestly and i feel like there are certain people in your life right now that maybe don't understand you and it's kind of like they, that's because they have to get to know you again like fam who you were six months ago we don't know who that is like you're a new person on period you went through the death card you went through the transformation card like you don't have the butterfly here but if the butterfly was here you went through it you went through it all fam and maybe you were even oh my god is it still recording? I'm so confused right now. It says that I have to delete some files. Okay, wait. <sighs> Sorry about that, literally. Um, but my... Anyways. So, like I was saying, you went through a transformation and it's saying, like, you can't go back to who you were. And basically, people have to, like, get to know you again. People have to learn who you are again. You also have um, the Hierophant card again. You're super intuitive. You're, like, in touch with yourself. You're in touch with, like, you know, both realms. The spiritual life as well as, you know, um, physical life as well. You definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You are a teacher. You are so wise, honestly. I feel like there are so many people that just, like, look up to you, honestly. I feel like you are such an influencer. You are so amazing, honestly. Keep doing what you're doing. I feel like you're just influencing a lot of people right now. That you, Maybe you don't even know that you influence people, but you do. Um, we also have the Five of Clubs. So what makes you attractive is that um, you will basically sometimes... Um, like, it's sweet. Like, I'm literally getting, like... I'm thinking about this time, um, I don't know, maybe letting someone win on purpose just because, you know, like, they need it or something. Like, I know my dad, like, whenever me and my mom used to drive home from, um, Spur, like, if you guys know what Spur is, if you're from South Africa, you know, the, on Mondays, if I don't get my free, like, it was a long time ago. Who's calling me? Anyways, like I was saying, before I was interrupted, um, I remember my dad would always make my mom win and like they would have a race to see who could come home first and like my dad would always just like literally like you would be, like my dad would like get to like the front of the house then my dad would like slow down and wait until my mom came and then my mom would come in and mom be like oh we want to be like my dad was like my dad's OG so yeah you like sometimes you'll like let people win just because it's like it's not worth it you know sometimes you win the argument but did you really win with the person or whatever so yeah, we also have the five of diamonds. So what makes you attractive is that you can like work really hard and work hard for what you want. And I feel like what makes you attractive is that it's kind of like you're like, you know, a normal person. I feel like that's weird to say, but I mean, you get anxious sometimes and it's like you get nervous and you get, um, like I said, you get anxious. I feel like you could have a lot of anxiety even, like you could overthink a lot, definitely. I'm just getting the vibe that you do all that. But it's kind of like at the end of the day, even though you do have certain things that you feel like could be a disadvantage, like, you know, anxiety, which is so real, fam. Um, it's like saying you can still move past it and you can still get through what you need to do. It's kind of like, like, you know, like when, um, yeah, like anxiety, I feel like anxiety is like a good um, example, like depression also. It's like when, you, when you're when you so sad or when you're very anxious and you feel like you can't get out of bed, but then you're kind of like the person that's like, I have to get out of bed, like I have things to do right now. And then it's like you just, you always push through. So you're very strong. Remember to take time to also just be there for yourself while you're being there for other people. 
So we also have the two of hearts. So what makes you attractive is that there are so many people that just want to be your friend. There are some people that want to just talk to you all the time on period, fam. Like the person that just tried to call me. Oh, no, nah, I'm kidding. But there are so many people that just want to talk to you and just be in your energy, honestly. And just experience you and see what you're like. I feel like there are a lot of people that talk about you behind your back. Like, not bad things. I just feel like they say good things about you. I mean... There are a few people that be like, but no, nah, I feel like it's a good thing people say about you. And it's kind of like they're saying, oh, wow, I finally get to meet the famous dot, 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 whoever your name is. Like, I feel like your name could start with a D. Like, I don't know, I'm getting like Dawood or like. I know someone called, I'm not going to say his name again, but I know someone called by, by that name. But it's not true if you think that this is about you, fam. Nah, fam. Nah, been there, don't. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, um, what makes you attractive as well is that you are sometimes very secretive about your emotions. I feel like you, again, I feel like you hide your emotions for certain people and it's attractive, you know, like definitely try to always express yourself when you can. But what makes you attractive is that sometimes you'll just bite your tongue. You'll just be like, I'm not going to speak on it right now. Like it's going to do more harm than good. Like I'd rather just like, you know, keep it to myself. Like you could be someone that's always put to yourself. But then again, we got the queen of swords. So you aren't afraid to say what's on your mind. But when it comes to your emotions, you keep that to yourself. Like, honestly, Sagittarius, that's an accurate um, example. I'm thinking about John Legend's wife right now, and I feel super bad that I don't remember her name. Even though I love her, what's her name? <sighs> honestly, that's a disappointment. Like, I don't know. I, I already know her name. I forgot her name, but John Legend's wife. And she's super successful, super published and everything. She's amazing. I love her. But, um, Queen of Swords, you aren't afraid to say what's on your mind. Like, like what I was trying to say, Sagittarius, I feel like they're a good example of not expressing the emotions, but being able to express themselves. And that's, like, a very good differentiation between your, your emotions and who you are, you know, and not, not letting your emotions consume you as a human being as well. Because, I mean, we're not just, like, one emotion, you know, like, we're, like, more than that. We're more than, like, that. So, yeah, you're very authentic as well. And you aren't afraid to tell people how it is. You aren't afraid to cut people off on period. Major arcana cards. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So you literally, your feminine side is definitely, you know, there and everything. You also have the Queen of Cups. So what makes you attractive is that you have, you are emotionally stable. What makes you attractive is that you have time basically to think about the bigger things in life, the bigger picture of things. Instead of like looking at things so two-dimensional, you're, you're able to look at things in a three-dimensional, four-dimensional. Did I say that? Yeah. Like you can look at things from any perspective, any point of view. Detail orientated. Yeah. And I think you should own your vulnerability and not see it as a weakness either. And it's kind of like, you can always match people's energy. I feel like you're very good at that. Like, if someone's giving you some shady ass energy, you'll be like, right back at you, fam. Like, you're just like, um, a reflect back to you, fam. What makes you attractive? Um, so you also have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, to that. Sorry, anyways. Um, what makes you attractive is that it's kind of like, your life is always just like, you know, um, it's like it's you're you're still living your life like you're still young even if you feel like you're like in your late 60s fam like i feel like a few of you could be in your 60s or whatever bro you're still young i, I think you're still young honestly you have so much ready for you as well and it's saying you should publish that book or you should do that thing that you've been wanting to do as well like you should just do it like just do it like nike says fam like maybe you're wearing name brand type stuff as well and i feel like someone from your past could come back as well as, yeah, someone from your past will come back. And then we also have, this is the last card. We also have the Knight of Swords. So what makes you attractive is that you are fast and quick paced. You, um, sometimes you don't think before you speak as well. You don't care about other people's opinions. Um, you are educated, like I said. You have an amazing mindset. You have a business mindset. Um, you have a, every type of mindset. Like you have a business mindset. You, you're spiritual. Like you can, you can do it all, fam. You're fearless as well. Um, but yeah, you're going to be surprised within the next seven days or seven. Yeah, I feel like seven days is a good, like, four weeks for the max. Like a month to a week. I feel like someone's going to surprise you, maybe. Like, 
a surprise phone call, surprise visit from a friend, surprise visit from someone else. But yeah, so that was the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave other video suggestions down below for me as well. I love you guys all so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.